Hello, my name is Puria Bigland and this movie is about change management and specifically revisions and history. So tracking of all the changes that happened in the past. In a plant engineering project, there are continuously changes from different users, from different disciplines, from different locations. For example, here on a PNID, attributes of objects can change. Some objects can be deleted. And some new objects can be added to the diagram. Adding of the objects to the diagram means immediately adding them to the data model because diagram is just a representation of what we have in the data model. So if I want to track these changes visually on the PNID, I can make a new revision. The system will identify which sheets they have changes. So for the sheets that there is no change, it is not necessary to create a new revision. And the numbers and the identifiers per revision or per version will be increased automatically. This is completely configurable and modifiable. Once I have a new revision, I can see the PDF file. And in the PDF file, there are some clouds with different colors for the objects which are modified with the value of the old attribute, for the objects which are added, and for the objects which are created. These changes also can be seen in a list. So it is possible to make a snapshots from different lists which are com completely configurable. And at every point of time, these lists can be compared from each other. So you can see that by just simply changing two valves because of auto device numbering, a lot of other valves are renamed or renumbered. And therefore I have a lot of changes in my database. And you can see that some objects are deleted, some of them are new, and some of them are modified from the old value to the new value. Additional to these two methods, the system can track all the changes of all the attributes on every object automatically. For this, first on the database level, the history should be activated. It can be the name of the department or the name of the user that should be tracked and recorded. And then on the project level, the history view should be activated so the history can be visible. After this is done, all the changes that are happening in the data model for every object and for every attribute is tracked automatically. It is possible to open the history of every object and it is possible to see who changed what and when. An additional functionality is to make comments. So if a change is happening, I can write why did I make this change? And therefore this comment is stored in the history of the object.
I can see only the discussions, therefore I can see a complete discussion over an object or I can see the complete history of the object.